Zodiac up! Oh yeah! The plot of The Tiger Apprentice is a magical yaw novel turned into a bit of an action um, movie for, for, for kids, teenagers, and adults. It follows Tom, um, who kind of discovers the magical realm that his family took part of. He's getting trained by Hugh, who of course is the titular tiger. It's uh, about heritage. I can definitely relate to that, of course, with another culture. But uh, this is clearly something that I would say to my, to my kids. It's about your heritage, basically, and how you embrace it. The Tiger Apprentice is our first collaboration with Paramount. Sandy Rabbins was our main contact point on the production side, on the day-to-day. -day. But we also established a close relationship with the studio and with Mark Bakshi and the lead management of Paramount to really monitor and drive coming together very closely the movie, so we, we were meeting like every week and it was really a partnership. With production, Paramount, uh, they were great. Really, really uh, enjoy working with uh, Christophe Lautret as production designer. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a fantastic person to work with. I really enjoy uh, working with Raman too. He's a great director and we had a lot of fun too with him. The creative team on Paramount side was in Los Angeles. We had our studio in Montreal, Paris. The director was in Hong Kong. It was crazy, but um, it was fun. We had multiple time zones and multiple locations, multiple cultures, multiple people from different countries. It also let us have a lot of different skills um, and, and ultimately it helped us a lot. So we were supposed to start in March 2020 and something happened in March 2020 on Earth. <laughs> La mise en place était pas, pas évidente. On n'avait pas l'habitude de travailler euh, en télétravail justement. Et on, bah, c'était la période où on avait beaucoup de films euh, en même temps euh, chez Micros. Donc on a eu du mal à trouver euh, assez d'artistes pour euh, euh, mettre sur tous les films. On découvre plein de choses. On apprend euh, toujours à, à produire et puis on apprend de nouveaux départements qu'on n'a pas euh, géré avant. On met en place euh, pas mal de process de production qui n'existaient pas. Confirmation was mostly technical challenges. We were receiving layout from the clients and they were doing the layout on previous with uh, their assets that were not matching exactly the production asset. Most challenging was the differences between the size and position and the short period that we had between client delivery and uh, delivery to animation. Well, the movie was challenging. <laughs> Characters always challenging. I feel like, you know, there, there's zodiacs and so there's some creatures there's some human there's a lot of things that we needed to understand and try with the uh, kind of new style that wanted to be set so there was well, a lot of research and exploration at the same time as the production so i would say like the most challenging was to find a way to fit those uh, challenges in the same time frame i would say and at the end i mean it came out so <laughs> we're happy about that donc les Tiger, ils sont, ils sont arrivés avec beaucoup de demandes d'interaction FX et animation. Et ça, c'était inhabituel dans les films précédents qu'on avait fait. Tu avais beaucoup de situations, euh, bah, ne serait-ce que les transformations des personnages qui nécessitaient beaucoup de FX et de l'animation en même temps. Tu avais des, des, des séquences avec des animaux et des personnages qui nagent dans, 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 dans du FX. Et donc ça, c'était des choses qu'on a un petit peu découvertes en même temps du, que, que le film, puisqu'on avait habituellement des FX qui étaient très décoratifs. Et là, on avait des FX jouants, avec vraiment des persos presque entièrement composés de FX. Animation wise, it had some challenges because the director really wanted more naturalistic kind of animation. And we also wanted the, all the action sequences to look really cool. So there was this fine balance between finding something cool to look at, a little bit exaggerated, but at the same time, naturalistic enough so that everybody is happy and the final result is great. The first, first, first one when I actually come uh, in, in Micros was trying to take the character as it were, which is like very detailed and make it a crowd character. So crowd character needs to be a little bit more uh, in the background so we can have the focus on them, which means that even though they are very detailed, we need to pay attention to not bring too much. C'était surtout la, la création de la ville en fait, hein, qui était euh, un gros morceau pour nous. 
à Falette Malin, créer des bâtiments assez modulaires pour peupler toute la ville, tous les quartiers. Mais le petit challenge, c'était que c'était à San Francisco, avec des rues en pente. Et quand on a une rue en pente à 30%, bah, c'est pas évident de se dire « tiens, je vais mettre un bâtiment tout plat sur ma rue, ça marche pas ». Donc il fallait être encore plus malin et faire en fait, des, des petits modules autour des maisons pour les mettre dans la pente, adapter chaque bâtiment à chaque pente. Mais voilà, ça c'était un petit peu notre, notre défi à nous. Le reste, voilà, c'était plein de décors dans un environnement assez sympa, à la fois américain et très orienté autour de la culture chinoise. Beaucoup de choses très sympathiques à, à fabriquer. L'évolution aussi, euh, que ce soit d'un point de vue euh, look et euh, attrait principaux euh, des personnages, que ce soit d'un point de vue personnalité ou vestimentaire ou même de... De, de visage, ils ont une grosse évolution, euh, donc il a fallu euh, souvent s'adapter à ça. I hope you will like the story and the world that we've been creating based on that book. I think it's a story that will, you know, resonate in a lot of people. We love making this film. It was challenging, tough, fun. I think it's a beautiful movie. I'm really proud of all the work that the artist at Nikos did. We've made it. Mm -hmm.